Hello from the glorious Cotswolds. Hi everyone. So many of you know by now that Jörg and I really love the Cotswolds, so we thought we would spend the day here to explore some charming villages and little towns that we haven't seen before. Yeah, and which we think are not tourist hotspots. Yes, you would, well, we would call them hidden gems. And we start here in Sheepscombe, which is a very tiny and charming village. It looks wonderful and it also has, it says, a cricket field that is the most picturesque in the world. So maybe we can find it. Only one and a half miles from Sheepscombe, you will find the Painswick Rococo Garden. Now, we've been to Painswick before, but we haven't been to the Rococo Garden, and it's supposed to be absolutely stunning. Yeah, it's a mid 18th century garden. Yeah, and so also that's... the only surviving and complete Rococo Garden in the whole of Britain. So that's quite interesting. Okay, now let's play a gentleman of 18th century. Well, then you have to get rid of me. <laughs> It says here that this is the so-called Eagle House and this would have been the first building you encountered on entering the garden in the 1700s. And you know what? I just said to Jörg that this would be such a great office space. Just imagine having a desk here and then this amazing view. Now this would be a dream. And this is Paintwick House. Such a stunning country house. And the Rockwalker Garden was basically designed to delight the guests coming to this house. This garden is very different to what we usually see. It is. We really love it. It feels intimate, 
cosy and it's a Saturday. It's not busy at all. So yeah. highly recommend it. time for a quick pit stop we are here at a farm shop called jolly nice farm shop which is such a great name it comes highly recommended so we thought we would check it out and there's also a very special thing about this farm shop it has a drive-through service which seems to be quite popular and the drive-through service is over there We should get these gluten-free amaretti. Look at the packaging. And this is what we bought. So this is a bread for you. Maltels sourdough. This is a lemon drizzle. Um, amaretti, gluten free. This is a risotto rice. Uh, we actually, we found white asparagus. Although this one is tiny, but we couldn't resist. No. Because being German and all, we love white asparagus. This is, these are drinks biscuits. So quite interesting. And Jörg bought wine yeah. from uh, Cotswolds wine. Cotswolds wine. Yeah. Woodchester, Woodchester Valley. Valley. Sounds interesting. Yes. I, I bet it's good. It is. This farm shop is absolutely amazing. We actually prefer it over Dalesford. And we're going to give the drive through a test now. So what do you want? Uh, cold drinks. I'm going to have a Karma Cola. Then I'm going to have a salad, have the Coronation Chicken Salad and the Triple Cooked Fries. And your you're going to have a burger, yeah? I get the J&B burger. J&B burger, okay. Yeah. Good. Now, let's give it a go. This is the burger. What was it called? J&B. Jolly nice burger. Hmm. And, well, unfortunately, they didn't have their coronation chicken salad anymore so this is just green salad and some fries
Looks like we're in the wilderness. It does. We are in Minchinhampton now, a place we never had on our radar before. And obviously, Princess Anne lives very nearby. And <laughs> I think, yeah. yeah. We tried to get an invitation for tea, but she yeah, didn't respond. No. I mean, we're not important people, but it's always worth trying. Of course, it's a joke, but it would be, it would be amazing. And we stopped at Rockborough Common, which belongs to the National Trust. The whole area belongs to the National Trust. And we wanted to check it out because you have the most amazing views towards the Cotswolds countryside. It's really worth going for a walk. I was about to say the huge building here almost looks like the estate of of Princess Anne, but I'm sure it's not. <laughs> Before we go home, we just had to stop here at Bebury. Yeah, because we had to visit Arlington Row. Yes. Uh, which is what everybody thinks is Old England. Yes, quintessentially English, very quirky and just beautiful. And it's probably not, well, not a hidden gem, but I think you just have to come here. This is Arlington Row originally built in the 14th century it's so old but then in the 17th century converted into a row of weavers cottages Just checked it on on the National Trust website and it's definitely this one and we think it's such a great place to stay it's quite busy during the day but as you can see lovely in the evening and that's a wrap Unfortunately, we have to go home. Yeah, it's late. It's very late. But we hope you found some inspiration in case you're looking for ideas, which places to visit. Yeah, we had a wonderful day. We did. And we hope you like the video. 
thank you so much for watching and as always see you again very soon so until next time bye 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 bye